Hey guys, today we get to look at Sage of Ancient Lore, four and a green uh, creature, human, shaman, werewolf. So it costs five. That that is a lot. Uh, Sage of Ancient Lore's power and toughness are each equal to the number of cards in your hand. When Sage of Ancient Lore enters the battlefield, you get to draw a card, so that's very good. I mean, five is a lot to draw a card, but it does become kind of big at the beginning of each upkeep if no spells will cast last turn. Transform states of ancient lore. The problem with this is, and okay, you transform it into the ancient hunger and vigilance trample. Uh, Werewolf of ancient hunger's power and toughness are each equal to the total number of cards in all players' hands. So already it's probably an EDH card. But when you say EDH card, it, it just means not playable in standard, not playable in modern. That's how people describe cards that are not good. They are EDH cards. Anyway, at the beginning of each upkeep, if a player casts two or more spells last turn, then you flip it. Ugh, it it's cost too much for modern. In standard, I just don't see it because you're green. I mean, you're not drawing that many cards, right? And what what are you doing? Like, you're playing this in a control deck, but if you're playing... It's just too easy for your opponent. The reason Huntmaster was so dominant back when Innistrad first came out was he had a huge upside when you... He had, he had benefit when you played him, and then a tremendous upside when he flips. So even if he never flipped, which some games he never did, it was worth playing him. This card I don't believe is worth playing, because how big is he going to be when he comes in? Yeah, you draw a card, but I mean, it's turn 5 or turn 6. What are you doing with all those cards in your hand? Um, overall, probably a very weak card. I think in ed is very good. But that can be said for many cards that are not played in standard and modern.